flower of life. Yeah. My sister has a hot hair. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You probably would just probably add more to here. Shalom, what's going on? Oh, I'm well. Good to see you. I'm well yourself. Strong and Why do you have my bracelet right. on? I'm at the show. You good, you good. Is that me? I'm here. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's bad. Dang, I should have really bought it. Sure, you got to show Art and soul. I know uh, Diamond is coming at 8 o'clock. Really? These are good, Taryn. Did you make them? You I didn't make Morgan. them. Um, Taryn. Yeah. Morgan made them, right? Morgan, Morgan okay, made them. Morgan's girlfriend, Morgan made them. Yeah. She went to um, Living Food Institute. Living Food Institute and then chef at Johnson and Wales University. Oh, nice. Yeah. You like them? Yeah, they okay. were good. They I were tried good. them for the first time, I, like but I thought they were really good. You don't know, like it? it no, I, th I thought they were really good. I thought they were really good, yeah. yeah. There's one there, and there's one behind me. Oh, this is good. Where did you get that? Oh, someone borrowed it. So I didn't chase every single individual. Yeah, my phone's on. I like that. You can even tell me you just got my phone on. Okay, so what do you taste? I need it, babe. Hold up. Hey, you were talking. So I'm still learning. But it's from from me. Try to put me out here. Okay. Is it, does it, is it I'm a coconut? Coconut, coconut. I can't. Yes. I love coconut. <laughs> what does she taste? Um, <laughs> okay, so boom, and then. Is it almond? Almond. Almond. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, almond. Almond. Mm -hmm. almond. Okay, almond. Mm -hmm. I think at the <laughs> almond. <laughs> <laughs> what else you taste? It's coconut, <laughs> banana, almond. Yeah, that's what really is sticking out. Yes. Yeah. Wonderful. I love it. Coconut raisins, cocoa powder, and I like the banana um coconut mix. You said that's where the whole party is. Cocoa powder. Mm-hmm. you cocoa powder. You like animation or something? Yeah. Hey. I did not cheat. How'd you know? Cause she was here for the vision party. Yes, she was. She was. Weren't you too? Yeah. So yes. I don't so, remember. Guess we're about to get started. So I want to thank everybody for coming out tonight. And we could have been over. Oh, yeah, I want to thank everybody for coming out tonight. Um, could have been anywhere, but you want to be here and learn about internet marketing. Internet marketing is something that I'm very passionate about. Um, it's something that's been very vital to my process and my journey, and really, I'm just sharing my experiences. That's how I like to say. I don't want to tell you what to do or anything. I just want to share my experience of what I've learned and you know, to share it with you. Um, before we get started, I just want to go around the room, so everybody introduce themselves. Uh, maybe what brought you here, maybe your business, and whatnot. So we're going to start with Xavier. Okay, shalom everybody. My name is Zabiel Ben Zabiel. Israel. Yes, uh, my name means my gift from God is a divine mind, and I'm a crystal therapist and therapeutic jewelry designer. And I'm here because I want to learn how to make the internet, or uh, use the internet for my family. Awesome. Yeah. And I like being around my family. Yes, sir. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Elisa A. Lewis. I'm an animator, recruiter, and consultant. I've been in television uh, for about 12 years, and awesome. three years ago, I broke away to start my own animation staffing agency. So I connect artists with clients who are in the animation pipeline, so animators, illustrators, graphic designers, voice actors, just anyone that makes an animation happen. Uh, I'm here today to learn more about marketing in general. I did take a few marketing classes from community groups, and each one um, brought such diverse, you know, yeah. amounts of knowledge. And uh, I really want to see some things that you can, you know, inform me of. Awesome, awesome. Glad, glad you're here. All right. Well, my name is Walt. Um, let's see. I'm a couple of things, but I guess you could just say I'm an internet publisher. So I'm here to learn about internet marketing. I um, have a few brands under my belt. So I'm gonna see how I can expand those. With, uh, you wanna share a brand with us, sir? Oh, 
different uh, endeavors and projects, a lot of videos that you may have seen of them. Uh, we were in collaboration with a lot of those. Thank you so much for that. You was in the kitchen, wasn't you? <laughs> I was in the kitchen. Yeah, he was. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I like, I like film. I came here just to, just to, I like having this conversation, so I want to be around people that have the same conversation. Uh, it's, it's, this excites me. Um, also, just being around people, too. Um, Um, yeah, just being around people. Um, I like it, and uh, I'm filming, of course, so I, I like to see different environments and how people act. I'm just, I don't know, like, I, I, like, I like this stuff, so, like, I'm here because I like this stuff. Home? Yeah, I feel at home, yeah. Right. My name is India White. Um, I'm a current student at Georgia State studying um, journalism and broadcast, broadcast journalism. Um, I currently am in a class, actually, for energy healing, <laughs> so learning, um, just my gifts, my natural gifts, um, card readings and different things. So I'm new in that world um, and it's pretty cool. I've never been opened up to that, but um, <clears throat> I'm happy I have been because it's been holistic for me. And I also have a travel business as well. I do travel um, with my mom, teamed up with my mom. So she's teaching me a lot about that. And I just came here today because 
uh, I started my own podcast. I'm building my brand, Unevenly Even. So I'm trying to learn how to internet market um, and do different things. So and get to know all of you and meet all of you entrepreneurs who are also, you know, you have your own businesses. Hello, everyone. My name is Stephanie Ratliff. Um, I'm actually here because of my friend India. But, however, um, I work for, so I'm a patient guide for a marketing advertising firm. Um, I'm sorry, can you repeat that? A patient, a patient guide. Oh, I say guide. So, a, a guide. Like, oh, a oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was patient like, guide. girl, <laughs> let me get my phone real quick. So, I am a patient guide for, or patient care, if whichever one. Okay. Um, so, pretty much what I do is we work. We network with different doctors and spine treatment facilities across the nation that specialize in the minimally invasive procedure. You guys are familiar with like a less invasive yeah. procedure. So that's pretty much what we do. We bring in leads for different facilities. Um, and we and they're all over like New Jersey, California. Um, but I also, so I actually just moved here from North Carolina back in August. And I want to network meet new people, pick other in mind, because I feel like my goal to come to Atlanta, because I'm the oldest of eight, my goal was to come to Atlanta to meet people and to grow. And I feel like the only way I can do that is I, for some reason, it brought me here tonight. So whatever it is, I'm just gonna wait for it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited to be here and glad to meet everyone. I'll introduce myself. I'm Taryn, um, I'm Quentin's wife and um, I own Urban Eden, and we both own Urban Eden together, um, which is an all-natural soap company. Um, and I'm also like super into herbs, herbalism. So I found myself like wanting to like market myself as, as such, like just doing more like herbal videos. I did one with um, um, Terrence's girlfriend, Morgan. We did a fire cider video, and that video got a lot of attention. So I was like, I definitely want to do like more videos just talking about herbs. And um, Quinn has always like pushed me to just be, you know, make content and just get videos out there onto the internet. And like sometimes I can still be self conscious about a lot of things. Like I don't want to show this. And he's like, just put it out there. Like <laughs> just put it out there. And nowadays, like I find myself like just doing it naturally. Like even uh, I don't know if some of you guys might have seen the video, but the other day I was in the shower and I'm like, yeah. Quinn, come get me. Like washing my hair with the sh in the shower or something like that. So it's just like so cool how you'll just be naturally doing something and then you just find yourself like making a video about it or just even right now I'm doing like a raw diet a 21 day raw diet and just even documenting that like I get a lot of people just like now asking me questions about how did I get on to the raw diet and cookbooks and all kinds of things so I just find like just sharing yourself and documenting your journey just brings in a lot of people and they just they'll come to you um, and I also have been realizing on my journey that if you focus on yourself first and just be the light within yourself and make sure that you're good, that you'll be a light unto others and other people will yeah, come see you and come and seek that out. Yes. Oh, no, that's it. Hello, my name is Joy. I work with Elisa with My Animation Life. I'm pretty Okay, good. I work with my animation life, and um, for myself, I am an animator, I am an illustrator, I also paint, I do graphic design and logos. Um, I pretty much, for me, I want to put out my own animations. I graduated, and then I got an internship, and while I was in that internship, I, all I thought was, I hate this. And I spent two years trying to figure out what I wanted to do. And from those two years, I noticed that I was slowly but surely feeling more and more passionate about animation and creating my own content and um, putting my own ideas out there, whether I have help or not. So I actually hooked up with my animation life because I'm like, I don't want to stay in this spot, you know? I want to surround myself with people. And it's actually been a very beneficial experience. Like, mm -hmm. it's nice. So then that's how I got to Weaver. <laughs> Yes, y'all two work hard all the time. Yeah, y'all do. Yeah. Like, this, this is like a gym. Y'all are all the time. 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 Y'all Thank you all for, you know, introducing yourselves so we can just learn a little bit more about you. And, um, you know, we probably will end up utilizing each other's talents just by, you know, saying where you are, you know, breaking the ice a little bit. So 
I'm going to, you know, as I go through the presentation, I'm going to talk about myself a little bit, just introduce myself, and you'll learn. Um, it's a lot of lessons I learned through my journey, and that's how I'm honestly going to talk about internet marketing by explaining my journey. Right. And you're going to do the same thing mm -hmm. as you, you know, go through yours. So let's get started. Okay, so this thing, it's a little lag on it. It's a little lag on it. While it's coming up, I just want to put a little disclaimer. I'm not here to sell anybody anything, because I know a lot of people sell you know, a lot of stuff to people. Um, I'm not here to oversell my stuff to anyone. I'm just here to talk to you about my process and just how I went through it. And hopefully you can find value from that. You know, you can learn something from it. And I'm not even here to tell you what to do. You know, my goal is to give you as much value as possible and making sure you have a basic foundational understanding, you know, from my perspective of how, you know, to leverage the internet. And that's about it, you know. Just a quick slide before we start. If this thing will come on. Oh, now it wants to come on. There it goes. Now it wants to come on. I'm just gonna do it from here. So just about me, I graduated high school in 2009. And I'm just showing you old pictures of myself so you can just see where I came from. So graduated Douglas County High School. Me and uh, Gab Gabriel, Gabriel, we went to the same school, actually. And she was actually out here with me. We used to be uh, playing football. She was, she was out, she was out there. But um, after high school, I began working with a contractor. And he started teaching me about gardening and growing food. And I started really getting into that niche of just growing food and gardening and whatnot. Then I started Georgia State in 2009. I was, uh, yeah, I was at Georgia State. I was uh, majoring in physical therapy just because I wanted to stay in the field of sports because I was a big sports head. And, um, but as I was at Georgia State, I just felt that I was doing the same thing as everybody else. Like, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going down the same path as everyone else. Like, you, like, not to discredit anyone that has a degree of anything, but my dad always told me to be a leader. Mm -hmm. So how could I be a leader if I'm doing the same thing as everybody else? I'm going down the same path. So. Consequently, I dropped out and I, and I stopped, I stopped. I just literally just stopped. I had the grades, but I just stopped because I said to myself, I want more. I, you know, I, wanna, I wanna get out here and experience more, you know what I'm saying? That's what I truly wanna do. So, I said 80 after the dropout. So, after that, <laughs> I, started, I started interning at an urban farm. So, I told you I got, I got my interest in gardening from a contractor, learning how to grow food, you know, gardening, um, just the whole now, I learned a lot about commodities, mindset. Um, I gained positive relationships and experience, which that's probably the most important thing throughout the whole thing is that I gained relationships with people, which is, mm -hmm. as you all probably already know, relationships is the most important thing in business. And, you know, just very important. Then I was hired by the largest commercial landscape company, which is Brickman Group. And the only reason why I put that is because that was the that's when I first realized that you can get a job, you can get any job without any type of paper. They required me to have a degree. I didn't care. I went in there, I showed them content that I was producing, I showed them how to passion for something, and they were like, you know what, we're gonna give the job to you. And there were plenty of qualified people way ahead of me. But once I got in front of the people, I sold myself and I just said, you know, this is what I truly am passionate about. And that's what really started kicking off, like, okay, this is taking me somewhere. So tell me I didn't need this degree or something to get this job. So mm -hmm. it kind of sparked something in me right then and there, like, okay, I'm starting to understand this game, this algorithm and whatnot, how this thing works. So from the, after that, you know, I started my first business. Uh, Rapid Kyle, which is a gardening and landscape design company, I started in 2013, officially in 2014. And that's kind of when I met you, Zabio, and everything. Mm -hmm. and I was uh, installing vegetable garden in people's backyard. It was, it was my passion. But eventually, I ended up starting doing things for money. It's like, you know, like landscape design, which is, it kind of took me away from the, the, the joy that I had, which was the food and the soil, things of that nature. Um, so, winter of 2014, this is when, to me, where it kind of started beginning, and internet marketing starts coming. So after my first year in business, I made no money, made $9,000, and I was just like, I'm frustrated, like how some of you were explaining, like, I didn't know nothing about business, I didn't know how to generate leads, I didn't know how to do anything, I just knew I was gung-ho on, I just want my own business, 
I just want to do my own thing. Like, mm-hmm. And I was just so naive to like mm-hmm. certain things, you know. But I was introduced to a sales funnel called the iPass 2, which was by way of becoming an empowered network, which is so irrelevant to this. But it taught me how entrepreneur it taught entrepreneurs how to leverage the internet. So that little so you network marketing. Anyone was ever into network marketing? Yeah. So that's what that's what this was. That was an internet marketing company. So by me jumping into that network marketing company and going through their funnels and they teaching me about blogging, this is how I started learning about mm-hmm. huh, the internet. Mm-hmm. You know, you know how you would hear people making all this money on the internet from home, and you're like, this is not real. Like this can't be real. Like, how are how are people doing this? Like that's how my mindset was like back in 2014 or whatever. So what I did was I just literally stayed up all night. Every night, all winter, because winter time to me is a time of reflection. It's a time when things get hard. Mm-hmm. It's a time when you get your soil right, which is your mind right. Mm-hmm. So I stayed in the house, read books, mm-hmm. and I was just educating myself on the internet. Because I'm like, you know what? I'm going to master this internet. Um, I did have some videos on here, just kind of showing like what it was like when I first was making videos. And a lot of people, I encourage people to make videos. A lot of people are like, you know, they're not perfect, or they're not this, or, you know, I'm ugly, or I'm like, you know, whatever. Like, <laughs> but, like, if I show you what my first video was like, like, it was it was terrible. Like, I'll show, a, okay, the first one, like, I'll show you this first one right here. And, like, oh, you know, I gotta go to the slide. But I'm only here to show you and to be transparent with you. Oh, no. Only reason why I'm showing you this is to, you know, put myself out and to just kind of show you like it doesn't have to be perfect. Mm-hmm. When you're starting a journey, like it doesn't have to be perfect. It's all about where you are. Just start where you are, you know. And we're gonna get more into that. I just showed this first little video. What's up, everybody? It's here. I would just be on my couch. What I wanted to just speak about is that it's lagging very badly. Oh, it's lagging. Yeah. It's okay. 2015. But pretty much all I said was just that, you know, how everyone says New Year, New Me. Mm-hmm. Well, you can like have more, you know, you can have more because you, because you can become more. Basically, all I was saying in that video or whatnot. So, since that, since that point in time, since 2014, you know, Rock High to be a six figure award winning company. I started earning with my wife. I'm doing produce for yourself, podcasts, videos, articles, just all of that stuff. And that's currently now. And that's you know like my kind of like my intro, you know, into who I am. So let's get into this internet now. So establishing your foundation. And this is just old content. And what I'm gonna be showing you is just how I put together just old content that I've created throughout the years. And all I did was just I'm just compiling it back together mm-hmm. to kind of get you in the mode like Great content. That's what the internet is about. Mm-hmm. Create content. If you're not creating any content, like you don't exist on the internet. This is a, this is real estate. Like the internet is real estate. You think about it from a real estate standpoint. Your website is your house. The internet is you know just the whole landscape. And you gotta have some type of content, you know, on the internet. It's about telling your story, expressing yourself, putting yourself out there. Literally, like. That's why I showed you that first video. When I when I first started on the internet, I literally would just take my phone and just put it in front of myself and just would begin expressing myself, expressing myself, expressing my passions, what I like, what I was into. I was letting people know who I am. That's literally how I would how I even started getting people to know who I am. But that's the first step, is getting people to know who you are. Because if you try to just jump out of the internet and just try to start selling your stuff, it's like, who are you? Nobody knows who you are. Like they don't know, you know. But the whole key to that is consistency. If you're not, if you're not going to be consistent with it, it's just not going to work. Because people are going to like, they're going to be off and on. Like they're going to be like, oh, what happened to your videos? Oh, what happened to your podcast that you were doing? People will literally will ask you that, and you'll be like, you'll be like, and you'll be like, you'll be like, oh, you were watching? Yeah. You know, people are people are watching your stuff. You don't know just because it says three views or seven yeah. or a hundred whatever, people are watching. That's a yeah. real person. Sharon, people are watching. I mean, <laughs> if you like any comments about that, feel free to comment or whatever. It's just like a dialogue. Because okay. yeah. <laughs> that's one thing people watch all the time. People um, watch. The different brands that I have, um, Instagram, 
Mm-hmm. You can't ever base anything based upon the number of likes that you have. Absolutely. Because people will scroll through your stuff and never touch. like. Yeah. Never yeah. like. But you uh-huh. so you can never base it upon just the number of likes mm-hmm. that you have. Or, Absolutely. Or the number of followers. Right. I never be caught. I'll never be caught with numbers. And another thing, like with me, so I'm pretty much aspiring to be a motivational speaker right. as well as an author. Right. Going back to when you said sometimes you just lose like you lose it because I've started a book and I completely stop maybe like three months now and I'm like I feel like my mindset has changed because now I create a new calling which is me being a speaker but mm-hmm. that doesn't mean that the book that I've started I can't complete it it's just now I know with the mindset I need to mm-hmm. do to complete the book mm-hmm. and I started off doing Snapchat videos. Mm-hmm. I started making like my little 10, 10 second Snapchat motivation. Good morning, you guys. Yeah, you're trying to get that Getting yeah. early in the morning. So then I was just like, okay, I'm not gonna do it today. I'll do it tomorrow. Yeah. Then tomorrow came, I'm like, all right, I'll do something. And then I push it off and I kept pushing off. And then one day my sister, I, my, my sister called me and she said, yeah, I used to watch your videos. All the, We were having this deep conversation. And I said, she's like, yeah, I watch your, your videos, and they just inspired. And I, I felt so bad, because yeah. I was thinking, like, dang, this is my sister. Yeah. And I, I feel like I let her down. Mm-hmm. Like, she woke up one morning yeah. looking for that and video, was, was like, like yeah. yo. Not there. I was like, yeah. dang, I felt bad. But, yeah, right. that was, I completely understand. Yeah, yeah man, people people are watching it, man. Yeah. Like, it's crazy. Like, you would, you, you might not think people are watching, but yeah. people are watching your stuff. They, they are waiting for you, like. You never know. You might be giving that person that motivation. It's like yeah. how you were, you were giving them that food, man, that mm-hmm. motivation, man. Like mm-hmm. it's a small pool of people that are like putting themselves out there. Most of the people are just watch, they're watching it. So like we gotta put some, we gotta bring something to the table. You know? I am. Oh, yeah, um, <clears throat> so on my way here, my friend had called me and she was like, "Yeah, so what happened to your podcast?" And I'm like, <laughs> 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 "Like I didn't I know, know, like." You know, she never commented. You know, you don't have to comment on it. Yeah. But I was like, oh, well, yeah, girl. <laughs> I didn't know, you know, people were actually reaching out, were actually yes. listening right. um, to my stuff. And I'm like, oh, wow. She's like, yeah, it's so motivational. And I See? love it. And you have such See? a soft voice and all right. that stuff. And I'm like, wow, OK. A little motivation, you know. Yeah, I'm going to do it tomorrow. Time. I got you, girl. Right, right. <laughs> so it's just keeping up that consistency. And I know for me, that's something that I've had trouble with in the past is just keeping up with the consistency. Um, and it's not even that hard. It's not. <laughs> it's, it's not even it's that a hard. It's, it's a mindset. It's a mindset. It's a mindset. Yeah. When you change your rela- relationship with it, I've yeah. learned that, you know, you'll continue to be successful once you ter- change your relationship with it. Um, and, you know, make it a priority just like you make brushing your teeth. Yeah, question how does everybody go about trying to stay consistent like yeah. i know I, I feel like that's a very interesting go ahead I'm sorry. <laughs> not well okay because like i i feel like i've set up like really interesting things like i like being in the car when it's the car especially if it feel good outside you know you roll the window down and it's like sun and it's like oh now's a good time to do it yeah. but if it's cold and it might be dark in the house and you know that angle's not right yeah. Although you may want to say something, you like, man, yeah, yeah, you, you, you turn the camera on like this, I'm like, yeah. But, but like, what I've what I've noticed is that, and what Taryn was saying was that, as you know, she just be in the shower and just living life. The the best content comes when you just say, you know what, I don't care about it, I don't care how I look, yeah. and you just and you just live life yeah. with it. Now this may be an awkward pose because I know you want your two hands, but like, the fact that we can't see ourselves and everybody has a very i just noticed through film and i, I just sit and i just film people it's, it's it's weird but i have a, a perspective because you can make anything beautiful everybody here is beautiful and everybody has beautiful lives and there's a story in every day so like when you film yourself it's not like it's like no content is just like just trash content there's somebody on there that's seeing you maybe from a relationship that you may have had previously with them or something like people are watching people really do care and yes there's gonna be people that gonna like you and they're not gonna like you but that's what's gonna be with anything that you do so like you're not losing by just showing yourself you're only losing i feel like if you're showing something that you may not feel comfortable within yourself yeah, so it's like yeah. do things you love, you know, things that you, you know, just be you. and yeah, really just be you. Like if you wake up in the morning and you, you know, you don't wait till three o'clock to brush your teeth and you say, hey, man, I just woke up three o'clock, brush my teeth. Like <laughs> we can't smell your breath. We not, we're not judging you, but it's, but it, yeah, but there's somebody watching you. 
that didn't brush their teeth at three o'clock. I'm like, yo. Yeah, and then boom, that's a connection. Yeah. Yeah. Are literally watching other kids play with toys yeah. on yeah. YouTube, yeah. and they know the little yeah. kids. Um, they know the little yeah. kids like the little kids are like yeah. Ryan. The little, the little yeah. boy Ryan is like they really believe that Ryan is their friend, and you know they the, the little boy is just playing with toys. Yeah. That's it, and the kids just be watching it. So people are just watching even things that can be mindless sometimes, like that. Even yeah. watching somebody eat. Oh, let me try this new steak. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you get all those views just for biting into a steak. Baby like, head yeah. on the pillow. But yeah, anything. You literally <laughs> give <laughs> So if we're giving like actual the valuable yeah. content. Like. I mean, when you ask that question about how do you keep yourself consistent, I know for me, I'm always keeping that one day uh, one day at a time approach. I don't mm -hmm. think about the future and I don't think about the past. I'm just thinking about and it's easier said than done. My brother tells me, like, whenever you stress it's because you think about the future, you think about the past. You yeah. can't control the past because it's already happened. Mm -hmm. The future can't control that. I mean, you can't control the future because it ain't happened yet. So I'm just thinking about today. Yes. Get something. Like, do something today. I always go back to sports. Like, when I used to be playing football at practice. Like, I always thought to myself, I had to impress my coach every day. Like, I don't care if I was a starter. I don't care if I had, a, you know, something solidified. I'm like, okay, I need to impress him with something every day. I need to do something, like one thing every day. That's all my, that's my biggest thing is to do something. One thing every day, you know what I'm saying? Whatever it might be. So, anybody else have anything else? Well, I was going to say with that, in a way, have you found that, that you start to do better things in your life? Like, you start to hold yourself more accountable? Mm -hmm. Because oh, the yeah. fact that someone will ask, like, I think you've asked, and I think yeah. some friends have asked, when I started my show, they were like, yo, where the episode? I thought you were I doing an episode. You, you asked me, yo. Like, and so, like, that, it checks you, like, man, yo, like, what have I been doing? So, the moment that you even start to think about complaining about something was like, you did that show yet? Yeah. Have you have you recorded that yet? What what what, what have you done? What have you done? Yeah. And so that I think that part right there is also being vulnerable. I feel like I've grown and felt yeah. like I've big, big it's, I've shed it a lot of insecurities, mm -hmm. and then also like I feel like now I'm holding myself accountable because. Go ahead. Go ahead. Can you remind just a few moments of what you said? You said something about no longer feeling vulnerable. What was that you said? You so like vulnerable, like even now, right? I got these cornrows in my head. My first time ever putting cornrows in my head, they hurt. But I said, you know what? I'm not going to care. I'm going to just chill. And even and just like do and even showing that and being on camera, like that's the insecurity. But when I just hit that post button, I say, you know what? I'm not going to because that that would be something that would hold me back in the moment. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like every day goes by. And you don't you don't do it because it's like man you know I got this or this or people may or it might be that one person following you that you know you like man if they see this they gonna yeah. think like this about me, yeah. but the moment you let it go and the consistency just you know you, even if you skip a day you say you know what, I'm gonna do it at the end of this week or just set like little goals little goals. Don't yeah. yeah, don't and don't be yeah don't up because. because you will watch yourself grow like you have all that like yeah. you're like those videos are assets that you like digital assets you have on your phone yes. and you keep them and yeah. there's growth as long as you continue you're literally it, it's like it's like you can't fail yeah. because mm -hmm. like it's it's almost like this is social media this is our network this is everybody on facebook this is everybody yeah. mm -hmm. and imagine if we're all in here and everybody has a gift and we're all sharing our gifts but you don't share your gift Nobody knows. It's not that we were judging you saying we're not gonna listen to him anyway, it's that you never we don't, right. we don't like we like we don't know. Yeah. You know, so it's 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 also almost like a service to the to the world and your right. community because it's yeah. not about a lot of followers. I don't have a ton of followers, yeah. but yeah. people contact me a lot about yeah. doing things that I share. It's, quality, yeah. it's just a message, like people get so caught up, oh I gotta it's gotta be perfect, it's gotta be this, like no one can tell you, like it, it doesn't have to be like <laughs> yes. perfect at all. Like, Throw that mug out there. Just, just, just throw that mug. Just throw it out throw there. that mug out there. Throw that mug. <laughs> I'm comfortable. You can tell I'm comfortable. I'm just, you know, I'm just talking to my people, you know. I like the, um, yeah, but that's the question. Um, the way I, my mind works, I tend to easily, too easily overthink things. Mm -hmm. so hey, like, I'm, I'm a Virgo. Me too. I'm a Virgo, so I overthink. <laughs> Maybe I'm just putting too much thought into it. So I looked at the, the content that I created from scratch. Yeah. And I looked at the likes and I said, okay, I got that much. Then I looked at content that I was compiling from other sources and trying to create this like almost 
blog and an Instagram yeah. post with 10 different images and yeah. paragraph after paragraph. I'm like, I'm giving too much away. Yeah. And I'm putting too much time in it. Why not just record it? You know what yeah. I'm saying? All of that could be simplified, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. and just, just put out what's easiest for you to do mm -hmm. and, and do it more consistently because it's more efficient. Original. Mm -hmm. I'm a big proponent of just being original, just your original content. Like, that's a big one. I definitely understand like the overthinking. I'm a Virgo mm -hmm. too, and I oh, yes. my perfectionist ways can get so oh, like yes. very like the littlest things. I I think in my last video, my last <laughs> vlog, I was um explaining why the lighting was off and why everything was off, and I'm like, why am I explaining why everything is off? And I literally was just talking to myself, sitting there like. And you do not have to explain yourself to everyone. Nobody cares. Right. Nobody's looking at the lighting. Nobody cares about how your hair looks, you know. Right, right. But just to put it out there, you don't have to explain yourself. So I definitely understand that. I have to. That's another insecurity I have to shed. Mm -hmm. um, and just working with holistic uh, doctors and practitioners, I've learned that it also is you have to heal yourself. Mm -hmm. And so that you can also open up that light within you so that mm -hmm. you can open up other people's light as well. So I found to... Absolutely. Um, that you have to work on your spiritual self as well as mm -hmm. you know to help your physical self and other people out in the world so mm -hmm. people you know it all people. ties together yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, sure. cool. so yeah so once you put yourself out there you will begin to attract that audience that will vibe and agree with what you're saying you know this mm -hmm. is when this is when they begin to like you this is when people begin to like you that's that i know i put in there a like no trust but I kind of always go with the no first and the like. Because when people begin to start knowing you and you start putting yourself out there, you will attract those people that are attracted to your content. Mm -hmm. Like, my man Zabiel, like, he, he's a crystal therapist, crystal healer. So the people that vibe to that are going to start running to the content that he produces, you know, on that. Or if I'm speaking about something, people that uh, attract to that are going to come to it. Same thing with all of them, you know, everyone. Everyone has a message that they want to say, you know. Yeah. And that's a good point to make. Like, you don't have to try to Everyone appeal to the whole to world. Like, mm -hmm. those who are yeah. meant for you will come to you. They're they going to come. Like, that's why I said, like, they will come. They will come. So, I said, when you uh, think about it, you listen to music artists who you like and know. And, you know, after people know you a little bit, and then they begin to like you, then you have given them the opportunity to trust you. Because, mm -hmm. once, because if you, you know, continue to be consistent, and you continue to put yourself out there and, you know, you start getting a little bit of, I would say, time goes by. Time goes by. You've been consistent with your podcasts and your videos or, you know, whatever it is that you're doing, just staying consistent with it. People will be like, all right, you know, I'm, I'm trusting what you're saying about the crystals. You know what I'm saying? You know, I might, you know, I might want to, you know, buy one. I might want to buy one of your bracelets or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Okay. Do you think, as you're saying, do you think this just applies to... If you're putting yourself personally out there, if you just have a brand where it's not necessarily you, but it's well, maybe an idea. I'll say this. Based on my experience, I've always started with myself because I said to myself that I would want to eventually do something else later. So if people know who I am, <coughs> my name will carry. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like how I Start off with gardening and, and vegetable. People exactly. still know me for that. They still know me for that. But like now, I'm doing so. Like it just, it just, it'll just carry over. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm gonna be proponent of that. Cause the thing about it, you're the one. You're you're the one that's gonna be in the meetings. You're gonna be the one that's closing the deals. You're the one that's you know executing all the stuff. Um, you know, if I'm if I'm making sense, maybe. Mm -hmm. Um. I haven't had experience with that though. Mm -hmm. Having something where I'm, I wasn't like putting myself in front of, you know, whatever I'm okay. offering. I've never had it, so I don't know. But I'm, I'm pretty sure it still works. Yeah. Um, you know. I feel like that, what I got, because that was kind of my question before. Because yeah. like I said, I do have a, I have a problem with putting myself out there. Yeah. Like, as far as like personally, I don't feel like you should know and this is just me in person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't feel like you should know if I'm in a relationship, if I got kids. You you don't you shouldn't know that much about me just by picking on the butt. Right, right. But I like what he said. It was like you can still put yourself out there your day, but if you simplify your so maybe you know I like tea, but you don't know I have a husband. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you, can, control, you can control it. You can control right. it. You can control it. So whatever you want to put out, you know, right. whatever you want to share. You know? 
what so I'm like saying? just in that, even if you're not showing yourself, like by showing things you like or associate, the yeah. idea is still personal. Yeah. Even if it's just birds or whatever, like mm. someone who likes birds, all they have to do is see birds. They don't necessarily have to see your face. No. But like just simplifying the content and showing it like in that personal manner, I feel like is directly like how you do this, but not mm. necessarily with you. Um, that's what yeah. I got from like that answer. I've seen like example like since we're in the soap industry, I've seen mm-hmm. like other Instagram accounts where people like never show their face mm-hmm. in the soap, and it's like it's cool. Like they don't have to, but then I feel like it's like an added bonus. Right, it's a stand out. It's an added bonus if you yeah. put yourself out there. I'm not gonna say you have to, right. but like I said, people just, like it. Yeah, yeah, like they really people do. like it. But. So I have a question: like, how do you get past the like the fear of putting yourself out there? Like it's weird for me because yeah. I've been in acting for seven years. Yeah. And I'm good with that. Yeah. But then when it comes to me personally, yeah. I'm like, like I'm good with someone yeah. else's words, but yeah. like I have a whole lighting kit, I have a whole setup at the house. I just yeah. not. Well, what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to yeah. come over there and record my video. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so I'm yeah. so afraid. Like, cause I'll record monologues and send them in. I'll record yeah. everything at the house, but for my brand, like I don't record me. I'm just very, <laughs> just I've not been able to step out of that. Can I say something to that? Yeah, I feel like, I feel like first confidence, yeah, and it may it. seem like you carry confidence, but you really gotta study and educate yourself on what confidence really means. I watch mm-hmm. a lot of YouTube videos. Mm-hmm. That's my gut. That's my life right there. <laughs> but I love to see other people grow. That's mm-hmm. my. That's that's my. That's why I want to be a motivational speaker because I, I love to see people grow and inspire. You know. So I feel like confidence is one, and then you really have to deep down inside you figure out your why. Why do you want to put yourself out there? And when you do figure out why, if your why brings tears to you, like it could be for your family, it could be for your kids or your pet, you know, just for all the people in general who, like the people that's in the hospital that's, that they've had a dream but couldn't do it. Mm-hmm. You gotta think deep down inside, what is your why? Why are you doing this? Why are you really putting yourself out there like that? When you figure out why you're doing this, that's never, you're never gonna stop. There's Mm -hmm. never gonna be nobody that's gonna stop you or take that away from you because you know why you're doing it. And nobody can take your why. Me and you may not have the same why. Mm-hmm. My And even if it's just like people getting their hair done, why you come outside with makeup on every day? I know why I come outside. You know, you know? Mm-hmm. But that that's just something simple as that. Why do you tie your shoe? I don't want to fall. You know if you don't tie your shoe, you're going to fall. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Deep down inside, that's your why. You don't want to skip skin your legs or anything like that. But once you find out your why, that's going to answer all your questions. And just to piggyback off when she said confidence, Confidence, I know it can seem like so easy to be like, oh, I'm yes, confident or something. But confidence is something that you build over time. Like, even when I had my business and um, we went out business to business, like mm-hmm. selling soap at barbershops and hair salons. And I would just be outside talking to myself, know. like, I would be like, <laughs> I got it. We, remember, we got it on video. We did, we did have it on camera. It took me forever. I was like, I was like, I don't know what to go in there and say. And like, yes. what if they judge me and look at me and stuff? But do you know, like, over time, especially when people receive you really, really well, and then you also build that confidence that if people don't receive you well as well, you're like, okay, I'm going to just move on to the next. Because exactly. there are people that will continue to receive yeah. you right. no matter what. So it's something that's definitely built over time. Mm-hmm. Right. And if you don't fail, you're never going to succeed. Nobody mm-hmm. wants to yeah. hear a story about how successful you was your whole entire life. Right. They want to hear the journey that took you yeah. here. Just like we said. Like they want to see it. it. Yeah. Right. They want to see, see it. it. Story for a reason because we want to know the journey. Now, if he would have told us to come here and listen to my successful life, we would have been like, "No, I'm not going there." But the fact that he has a journey and he he came from somewhere, he showed us a video from where he started and to where he's now. So it's it can be done. It it shows us it can be done. So once, like I said, he figured out his why he wanted to do it, and now he's sharing it to all of us. So we just gotta. Take that in. And I wanted to um, piggyback off of her, um, of the, the why <laughs> part. And your why can change for, you know, different things that you do. Mm-hmm. I know for me, um, I was also, I was in theater, so I learned how to adapt to character, you know, role play and different things. So I could study somebody and I studied the little parts of them and then I could pick that up real quick. Yeah. Um, but then putting myself out there, my why changed because I lost my brother two months ago. Mm-hmm. And you know, just going through the whole grieving process was a new whole, (laughs) new rabbit hole I had to go